This is the future calling. Let us start the future now. Smart Stage. I am the virtual host of Pioneers 18. Blurred frontiers are on the verge of tomorrow. I will bridge the two worlds of silicon-based and carbon-based intelligence. For the carbon-based intelligence, let us now welcome our human host, Chris Wells. And right now, we are going to introduce our sponsors. We've got some fantastic sponsors. So first of all, I'd like to thank PwC, which is our Pioneers Challenge partner for their generous support. And they have something for all of you. We have 500 printed copies of our Pioneers 500 report, which gives insights into all the Pioneers 500 startups here today and startup corporate collaboration in general. There's also advice on best practices from our Pioneers Discover team, plus content from PwC. There are only 500 copies, so be sure to get yours right away. We'd also like to thank CNBC for their coverage of Pioneers 18, and we'd like to thank Raiffeisen Bank International for their support. So visit their Elevator Lab booth and learn how this leading banking group in Austria and Central Eastern Europe is working with fintech startups in its Elevator Lab Accelerator program. And watch out for a very special announcement from RBI right here on the arena stage. There's going to be some great news that might be of extreme interest to all of the entrepreneurs here at Pioneers 18. Now, we would also like to thank the Vienna Business Agency for all of their support in making Pioneers 18 possible. Also, once again, everyone's favorite drink, Red Bull, is back with us. After the event is over, you will have a chance to view best of videos on demand on redbull.tv, as well as interviews of select speakers on redbull.com. And finally, we want to thank Media Apparat for their amazing creative work. I think they have outdone themselves this year with this amazing stage. Big round of applause for them. Isn't this incredible? Well, hello there. You're taking a look around, aren't you? Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So, 
Now I'm going to introduce one of the co-founders of Pioneers. Please welcome Jurgen Furian to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there. Um, welcome to Pioneers 18. Oh my God, that's packed. Quite a new stage design. I really like it. Do you like it as well? Okay, one more time. Do you like it as well? Come on. All right. So, as you might have read or heard, um, there was some news around Pioneers in the last couple of days. Pioneers officially joined the Startup 300 family. Uh, we partnered up, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic ride for my uh, CEO, uh, Oliver, and the whole Pioneers team and the Startup 300 gang. Um, I would like to use this opportunity to say thank you to actually so many people for the last seven years of support. Um, first and foremost, to all the Pioneers team members, the current ones, and the many, many team members that we had in the last seven years. Uh, thanks for, for, for your contribution. <laughs> also, of course, all the partners. It wouldn't have been possible with, without, without you guys. Thank you so much. All the contributors, the supporters, the evangelists, the speakers. I remember the first pitch that I had back in um, 2012. Uh, the pitch was like, we didn't do a conference before. I don't have any pictures, but can you please fly 15 minutes, uh, 15 hours over the pond to speak for 15 minutes on a stage in Vienna? It wasn't an easy pitch. It's a little bit easier these days. And personally, I would like to um, use this opportunity to say thank you to a very special person. Um, he supported us from the very first moment on seven years ago. He has actually no clue why he's standing backstage. Um, he, he was an early supporter, he's my personal mentor, and uh, I would like to um, please give a big hand of applause uh, for the kindest person I know on this planet, uh, Mr. Ralph Simon. <laughs> so, Ralph. With you, it's like, catch me if you can. Whenever I call you, I don't know on what kind of continent you are currently. Oh, amazing. Um, and one thing was, you know, I told you about this that bothered me for quite some time. Yeah. Whenever I look at the pictures that are taken of you and all those different events that you go to, you yeah. wear a backpack and you know about this. Yeah. And I'm a bit, big Ted fan. Don't right. get me wrong. Right. I like your Ted backpack. Right. It shouldn't be a Pioneers one. It should be a Pioneers bag. Yeah. That's so, exactly correct. Yeah, so that needs to be changed. So, Tim, oh. can you come on stage quickly and bring me something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, how great is that? No more. Oh. <laughs> no more TED backpacks. You get an official, you're the first one to receive from the Pioneers collection at Pioneers Backpack. Incredible. And there are only two people on this planet who also got uh, a lifetime pass. Uh, my partner and investor, Hansi Hansmann, and Harald from Dreamicom Valley. And you get this, the third one. So let me hand this over to you. I hope to see you at every, at every Pioneers event in the future as well. Thank you. And thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. Pioneers appreciates it. And I hope you, you stay on board as, as long as possible. Thank you very much. This is so great. I just want to say one thing. For all of you that are here today and tomorrow for Pioneers, they're just two words you've got to use. And those two words will make you enjoy Pioneers even more. And the two words are, keep gas. <laughs> Let's keep gas. All right. Now, thank you so much. Have a wonderful Pioneers 18. Get connected. Get inspired. And of course, have a lot of fun. And now handing it over to the CEO of Pioneers, Oliver. Please come on stage. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Just a question before we start. Who knows what this is? So if this thing rings, you pick it up. 
It's a phone. I know it doesn't have a display and it's not touch and everything, but it's a phone. So guys, you're very shy here. Good morning and welcome to Pioneers 18. Thank you. This is the event that won the best event award last year. Who of you were here last year? Hands up. Okay, that's a good mix. We don't want to have too much of the old guys. We need the fresh, young brains. We don't want the old stuff. But I think this is a good mix. Um, how do you like the stage? We designed it so that you can be closer to the action. And we designed it as an arena. And it is allowed for you to cheer and shout and give our speakers a feeling that they are the rock stars because they are the architects of the future. So please, if a speaker comes on stage, feel this is an arena and give them the feeling that they are the true rock stars here. The theme of this year, as you have heard, is blurred frontiers. And this doesn't describe the state that you will be feeling after the Pioneers after party. Blurred frontiers describes how technologies redefine the boundaries of industries. And where the boundaries are blurred is where innovation happens. Because innovation happens in between. And it happens in the unknown. The important thing is not what you know about the past, the business environment or the technology of the past. The important thing is what you don't know and what you will have to learn in the future. So this means that given the pace of change, we all need to get out of our comfort zones, catalyze change and develop new learning capabilities because otherwise we won't manage to use the opportunities that we get. And we believe, pioneers believe, that this will only be possible in collaboration. Finding a collaborative approach to solving the biggest problems and challenges of humanity. And this is why we bring together such an amazing crowd of entrepreneurs, executives, investors, media people, thinkers, challengers of the status quo to ignite sparks and to get them think about the blurred frontiers between industries. This cross-pollination is what brings and drives innovation. And this collaboration between disciplines is what we would like to empower here. But there is more. Technology redefines boundaries of industries, but technology also redefines boundaries of humanity. Boundaries of humanity are being redefined. The physical and the digital space merge. The biological and the digital spaces merge and empower us to address the most pressing global challenges. Are we ready for that? Are we ready for that? So new technologies like AI, machine learning, genetic engineering, you know the buzzwords. The important thing about them, oh, I forgot blockchain. Sorry for that. So uh, they redefine the frontiers and they offer new approaches to tackle societal and environmental challenges. We all know what opportunities lay in, in these technologies, but there are still 2.4 billion people without water and sanitation. There are 1.2 billion who are still without electricity. That's like what, the first, second, third industry revolution? The industry revolutions are not distributed equally. The question is, at the brink of the fourth industry revolution, are we going to design this to be an inclusive industry revolution? And who will define whether it's going to be an inclusive industrial revolution? Who will embed their values 
in new technology? And who will decide what values will be embedded in all the smart technology around us? You will decide, my dear pioneers, the bold people who develop new products, who push the boundaries, who question the status quo, and think about progress, growth by progress, not by accumulation. This is how innovation is defined. If we grow by progress and not by accumulation. So you who overlay the digital and the biological are going to define these things. And I would like to ask you to do this in a res responsible and inclusive manner. Thank you for accepting this responsibility. Thank you for actively shaping our future, because it's the innovator community who is doing that. Thank you for pioneering with us and being part of something that is in our hands to be designed our future. This is what Pioneers is all about, and this is why we are so honored to have such an amazing crowd here and some brilliant minds who will push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. But now we know that there is much more that can be done. And as you all know, pioneers couldn't exist without partners, without long-standing partners who share our vision of pioneering and empowering entrepreneurs. And some of those partners you have heard about, thank you very much for PwC for their endless support, CNBC, Media Parat for the amazing tech that we have around us, Raiffeisen International, Red Bull. And there is also another one from the first day, which is the city of Vienna, the most livable city in the world. And it is my honor and pleasure to welcome the representative of the city of Vienna, our long-standing partner in crime, the managing director of the Vienna Business Agency, Mr. Gerhard Hirzi. Please join me on stage. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome on behalf of the City of Vienna, a very warm welcome on behalf of the Vienna Business Agency. We are very proud uh, to have so many brilliant minds, to have so many bright minds uh, here in Vienna. And uh, together with our own bright minds in Vienna, our Viennese bright minds, that makes Vienna the brightest city worldwide may be uh, for the next two days. Um, you have come here to Vienna uh, for working, of course, but I think you will easily find out, or you have already uh, found out, that Vienna is not only a good place to work, but also a good place to live. As Oliver already mentioned um, just some weeks ago, Vienna has been elected the city with the highest quality of living worldwide, and that for the ninth time in a row. And I'm pretty optimistic uh, that you will share uh, these views as soon as you uh, are able to leave the Imperial Palace and can spend uh, some time uh, in the city of Vienna. Um, having said that, um, I have a big request. Um, if you like what you see when you are in the city of Vienna, uh, please tell Viennese people about that. If you find it somehow amazing that uh, this city is the cleanest and the most safe city, or one of the most safe cities uh, worldwide, or uh, if you find it worth mentioning that 50% of Viennese uh, ground is dedicated for parks uh, and lawns, or that public transportation is efficient and affordable, or if you find it uh, awesome that more than every tenth uh, person you meet uh, out on the streets is a student, that 8,000 new companies are being founded uh, every year, domestic companies, that almost 200 international companies come to Vienna every year, 
please tell my fellow countrymen about that. Why? Because they wouldn't believe me and they wouldn't believe any other Viennese official. What you might not know, Vienna is not uh, only the world capital uh, for art and culture and classical music and quality of living, but also the world capital for grumbling and self-criticism. <laughs> Viennese people are very, have a very precise look on everything which does not work in their city. So just to give you a small example in order to show you what I mean, um, if in other metropolitan areas the subway arrives at all, people are satisfied. If in Vienna the subway is maybe three minutes or four minutes late, people complain about that and they are convinced that the Lord Mayor has to resign or even better the city government uh, should resign. So that's why I think it's more than uh, pure coincidence that Sigmund Freud lived in that city and uh, Sigmund Freud uh, worked in, in that city. So please, uh, if you find our city attractive, uh, tell them. In return, in return, you will get the best support you have ever received if you should like to know something about uh, the business location in Vienna, uh, about the startup city Vienna, about the role of Vienna as a city hub for Central and Eastern Europe. So one of our, one of our uh, offers is uh, the Vienna startup package. The city of Vienna invites 20 international startups every year to come here to Vienna and to spend uh, two months in the city. Um, and the enjoyable uh, thing about that is we pay for everything. Or to be precise, we pay for almost uh, everything. So if you should be interested uh, in that or in other items regarding, uh, regarding the ecosystem uh, of Vienna, uh, please, uh, uh, please tell us. We are easy to find. Our booth is uh, just around the corner. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to finish with um, announcing a short video about uh, the city of Vienna. And I'd like to finish uh, with Billy Joel, who once upon a time sang, Vienna waits for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Herzi. And thanks to Oliver and Jürgen for getting us started. And now take a look at the video.